makes the world go round. Therefore, it is important for everyone to have a basic knowledge of how to manage their finances. After all, it limits what they can and cannot do. Money is a numbers game, so it's only natural that mathematics can be used to gain financial literacy. Understanding widely used concepts such as tax and interest would give you an edge over others and help you make more money than you spend. After learning consumer mathematics, I would say the best way to manage your own finances is to stick to a budget, live within your means, and set aside money for rainy days, because every little helps, especially when it comes to interest. The way you handle money differs from person to person and lifestyle to lifestyle. Right now, as a student, I still don't have a fixed income and most of my money comes from my parents, so I would continue to put money into savings accounts to have something to fall back on. Once I get a job, however, I might be more interested in putting money into a long-term account for retirement or getting into the stock market for extra cash. When transmitting data, you want accuracy, integrity, and security. These things are made possible by two branches of mathematics. The first is coding theory, which focuses on detecting and correcting errors in data caused by electromagnetic noise in a channel. This ensures that the data that will exit a channel will be exactly the same as when it came in. Moving on, the second branch is cryptography, which deals with encryption and decryption of data. It is important to encrypt data and make it unreadable to everyone except the party whom you are sending it to, to ensure authenticity and non-repudiation. When creating a crypto system, you need to consider who will have access to the keys as well as how they can get access to them. In general, asymmetric encryption is far better than symmetric encryption because it requires two different keys held by different users to encrypt and decrypt a message rather than using the same key held by multiple users. Mathematics is considered the language of the universe mainly because there is no simpler, more fundamental way of expressing the universe than through the basic needs of quantity, which leads to the concept of value in numbers, and once we have numbers, describing anything around us makes it precise and simple. For example, two languages might have two same words that may have opposite meanings. But for math, whoever you may be, wherever you are, 1 plus 1 will always equal to 2. Mathematics is an important tool in dealing with practical problems in life because it helps us build our logic and reasoning. Concepts such as efficiency, transportation problems, game theory, and decision making will help us in the real world. Mathematics is very useful in decision making with the various theories designed such as game theory and social choice theory. With social choice theory, it helps deal with the different opinions, interests, and preferences of the people since it's a platform to vote. Voting is an effective way of making group decisions as it gives importance to each and everyone's opinion. Our idea of a fair voting system is a system where in first place votes are not the only means of tallying the scores, such as the board account method. For game theory, it is relevant since it helps in strategic interactions with others. The games in the context of game theory are real-life situations where different actions lead to different payoffs. Examples of these games can be choosing where to eat. By using game theory to choose a restaurant, it would be much more convenient to decide since we would be able to fully analyze each strategy and get the best payoff. Mathematics is considered a tool for efficient problem solving due to the various algorithms and theories designed using mathematical concepts to obtain the best results in real-life situations, such as assigning workers to a task or identifying the shortest path for travel. These results are considered efficient when the outcome is the best possible result with the least amount of work, effort, or expenses. Problems that deal with efficiency can be the shortest path problem, transportation problem, and the assignment problem. All these problems were designed to obtain the most efficient outcome out of it. An example of a problem dealing with efficiency is the planning of the design of machines or infrastructures. With the use of concepts in linear programming, finding the minimum cost to manufacture would be possible by using the science constraints and variables to identify the possible outcomes. The Fibonacci sequence is a set of numbers that starts with a 1 or a 0, followed by a 1, and proceeds based on the rule that each number is equal to the sum of the preceding two numbers. The golden ratio is a special number found by dividing a line into two parts, so that the longer part divided by smaller part is equal to the whole length divided by the longer part. 
These ideas are associated with nature and art because historically, the number can be seen in the architecture of many ancient creations, like the Great Pyramids and the Parthenon. Fractals are complex patterns that are self-similar across different scales. Fractals are considered to be important because they define images that are otherwise cannot be defined by Euclidean geometry. Fractals are described using algorithms and deals with objects that don't have integer dimensions. Mathematics is involved in the design of creative works by interpreting natural phenomena as patterns. Mathematics is everywhere. The fractals in biology is the most important among all applications of fractals. Medicine involves examining the body to see where it is malfunctioning. Since the body is full of fractals, we can use fractal math to quantify, describe, diagnose, and hopefully help cure diseases in the future. Out of all the topics that we've covered in this course, we found the topics on optimization and efficiency to be the most relevant in the field of engineering. With these topics, we were taught how to maximize our output given a limited amount of resources, an important skill in engineering. So with mathematics, we view this as a useful tool not only in problems such as algebra or calculus, but we can also apply these concepts in other fields such as arts, in efficiency, in communication technologies, and also in language. So the concept in this course uh, are easy. Uh, however, uh, we've encountered problems with some of the concepts such as uh, assignment problems, uh, mainly because of this was new for us. Uh, so all on, uh, to sum up this uh, blog, uh, we have come up with uh, three words to describe this uh, subject. One for me is uh, unique. To me, it's mind-opening. And for me, it's uh, informative. Thank you for watching.